Hello, YouTubers. How you doing? This is Dan with Dan's 30 Foot Dory Build. Uh, today's the 26th of December. And remarkably enough, we have fairly cool air out here right now. It is winter time. But the fascinating thing about it is... We have no snow. <laughs> we call it a green Christmas. The little bit of snow we have on the ground came down about a week ago. Very little of it. And then it started melting off because it got like over zero temperature. And, uh, you know, like around 30, 46 degrees. It was almost like summertime. So, um, yeah. So I'm standing here outside. And trees are bear of course the boat is at this time i would have had a winter video done it looks like i won't be doing one or i may just do one just to, to see when it actually snows but um yeah the, it's painstaking to stand here and see my boat all wrapped up it's almost nice enough to work on it if I wasn't having to use any glue. Of course, the glue can't freeze or just doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, it's a really killer. I mean, we just, we've had beautiful weather up to now. We had a plus nine the other day, which is uh, really odd for a, a December. So what's causing this change in the weather? I don't know, but I can tell you, it's really painstaking to watch my boat sitting here and really not being able to work on it. And uh, I'm telling you, it's really freaky. So for those of you that are able to work on their boats during the winter time, I don't know, just consider yourselves extremely lucky and I really appreciate the fact that you can. This is the south side of the boat here. Isn't it just crazy? No snow, but it's chilly out here. I mean, you wouldn't, if I, like I said, if I was making something that just needed to use nails and screws, no problem. But since we're using glues and things of a sort, you can't work on it. Even tube glue wouldn't dry, cure very well in this cold weather. It'd just freeze or get really, really hard to apply. Yeah, so I'm just taking a walk around the boat here. Here's a back view. There's my seafoam green. Oh, I love that color. And I don't even like green, but this color is really nice. See that? Just no snow. It's really freaky not to have snow here because usually we have snow. In December, we always have snow. I personally can't remember. I personally can't remember the last time we did not have snow in December. Now I've been in Alberta for 26 years now. You might say I stopped here by accident, and we never end up. We never ended up leaving. I would have liked to go more south or farther west, warmer climates, right? So here you go. Just, just nothing. And it is just so odd not to have snow here in December. So there is no snow in the forecast so far for the next couple of days, but it can hit any time and stay until late March. Yeah, just look at this. It's just really weird to see no snow. Huh. So anyway, this video here is basically to thank those of you that have subscribed since the fall hit and I made my wrap up for the season. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, those of you that are still with me, thank you very much. Um, I've definitely met a few friends over the summer on the YouTube. Um, also building boats, you know, stuff is common, something common. And uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, 
Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> uh, so what am I doing for the winter? Well, I'm growing some tobacco plants down in my basement just to see if I can grow tobacco. And I'm in the middle of cracking some eggs in an incubator to see if I can crack some silky eggs. They're a real small chicken. I have a little blog on that there on a different channel. Trying to keep you out of the light. The sun's starting to come up, so it's getting a little... There we go. So, yeah. It's just like summer here. I mean, check this out. Usually we're into about a foot of snow. It doesn't snow a lot out in Alberta here. It really doesn't snow a lot. I mean, if we get three feet of snow, you know, that's like odd. I've been talking about the entire season. We just get hit with small piles of snow, you know, a couple of inches at a time, and that's it. So it still causes enough problems when you're working in the, the uh, you know, it, doing anything. Snow is always a hassle. I work outside at my work, in and out all day, in and out, and I, you can appreciate that there's no snow. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Um, if it stays like this till spring, <laughs> God sent, God sent. So, yeah, snow's not always great. I mean, you know, it causes a lot of difficulty, right? You got to snow your, you got to plow your sidewalks. Uh, you're at work and you work outside like I do. You're slipping, you're sliding. You got to remove the snow from your work area. You know, I refuel aircraft for a living and um, it's doable. It's just really inconvenient when it really snows a lot. The cold I can handle, you know, I'll work into 30, 32 below zero. Uh, cold temperatures and we're dressed for it. I mean, it's a little bit of a hassle, but snow, snow gets in the way all the time. Air, aircraft can't fly if they get too much snow on them. You got to de-ice them, all kinds of weird stuff like that. And uh, as far as working at home is concerned, I don't do anything in the winter time, unfortunately. I don't ski. I don't do anything. Uh, I just basically keep my hobbies in the house until spring and summer, and then um, I do summer stuff. So for those of you that are new, um, I've been working on this boat for two years now. Uh, I thought it was three years, but it was actually two years, which is good. I've done very well. Uh, this summer will be the flip. And then I got to move it out further into the yard because I got plans for this corner where the boat is now. But uh, hang in there. Stay tuned. I'm not going anywhere. I said I was going to start this boat and I'm going to finish it. Well, I'm going to finish it. Why 30 feet? Well, you're going to have to look, check out my other videos to figure out why I've decided to build a 30-foot boat. Other than that, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, like I said, I'm just letting you know that I'm still here. I haven't got anywhere. I haven't quit on the build yet. Well, actually, I'm not going to, but you never know, right? Life gets in the way. So far, so good. So thank you very much, guys, for hanging in there. really appreciate it. Uh, we're starting to have conversations amongst other builders, which is really adding to the interest of this hobby. Instead of standing in this yard by myself for many, many hours and not having anybody to, uh, com you know, converse with about boat building. Because uh, literally, I've just done this whole boat all by myself in the last two years and have had zero help, really. Uh, except for one gentleman sending me a very well-needed tool. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay tuned and I will be back.